So Lauren is here with her daughter Brooklyn, and Brooklyn is six and started taking classes here when she was a year old? A year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. And what made you bring her to Jackson School of the Arts? Well, I believe that we came to Fairy Festival for the first time, um, and I had heard about art classes, and she ended up loving it so much that we just started taking classes year after year. That's great. That's great. So obviously Brooklyn is in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. and how would you get her to class then? Um, well, then when she first started, um, I was carrying her up the steps because um, I couldn't bring her chair, you know, right. with her other medical equipment. Um, and then when she got to be, you know, a little older, she was obviously gaining some weight and it was getting harder and harder to carry her up the steps. So, right. so you no longer can take classes here because we can't get you up the stairs. We're not handicapped accessible. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Which is sad for us because we love coming here. And we were very disappointed when we couldn't accommodate you in normal classes, and we miss her so much. And the instructors and the staff are just so amazing, very accommodating to Brooklyn's needs. Um, they're always adapting things for her so that you know she could do everything that everybody else was doing. Yeah. Um, and our staff love working with Brooklyn and they miss her mm -hmm. so much. And we try and come up with ways that, you know, we can work with students um, from Brooklyn schools so that everybody has the ability to do some art. And it was just a really great, fun environment for her. She loved being around all the other kids. Um, so, and just the sensory aspect of it all. The sensory and the social, mm -hmm. I think, are so important for kids, um, no matter what their abilities are. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. She likes painting a yeah, lot. Um, I thought so. Yeah. The messier, the better with her. Um, <laughs> we usually have paint all over. Glitter, lots of glitter. That's lots another thing glitter. here that's really popular is glitter. <laughs> um, I think it would be really cool to get her involved in a dance class, maybe. Um, I do, too. Collaborate with some of the other students. Um, I think that would be really cool. I do too. I do too. Yeah, you do too? Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd like to try a clay class too. Like, um, I think clay would be amazing. Just mm -hmm. that whole tactile element and being able to really have that sensory experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was the my first art class that she, the first one she ever took. So, and we've done, oh gosh, we've done like summer classes. Like, I think it was slugs, bugs, and pinwheels. Um, yeah. There was just, I just love how everything kind of follows the seasons and you know, what's going on. I, and I love how when you would take the class, she would be sitting on your lap. Mm -hmm. And then we would help you with yes. her and a, a hand over hand. Mm -hmm. and it's such a bonding experience. Oh yeah, I enjoy it just as much as she does. Yeah, yeah, it's nice for the two of you to But do. it will be nice for her, you know, to be able to sit in her chair and I can still sit next to her. And, Absolutely. Um, it's better for her posture now. Yes, that's so important. Yeah. Um, I know that one thing that we talked about was getting her up isn't so difficult. I mean, it's heavy, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's really that fear of falling when you go yes. down the stairs. Yes, and she thinks it's funny, so then she's, you know, a little more wild. And right. Yeah, it's, it's definitely scary. <laughs> yeah, and that's, and as she's heavy and, you know, you don't realize it, but they can't help you. Brooklyn can't help you support her. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I remember with Luke, it was like, a sack of potatoes and yes. you're just carrying this, you know, mm -hmm. thing who sometimes would start laughing <laughs> and it would be really hard. So um, Yeah, and then once you get to the top of the steps, it's like, you know, I still don't have her chair, so Right. And then I have to carry her all the way to class. And remind me how much her chair weighs. Her chair is thirty seven point one kilograms. Yeah. So I don't know how much that is in pounds. It's a lot. I remember that having to and they don't collapse, they don't make it easy. It's all one yeah. big apparatus so to really it's impossible to get mm -hmm. her up there and, and to be safe and I mean even for families that have strollers and you know um, grandparents or really anyone that has trouble with steps you know, that's so true we think that a wheelchair is for uh, transportation but really it's for the posturing and it's mm -hmm. for her safety that you know it's molded to fit her yes. so she can't really engage in something even if we got her up there mm -hmm. because her mobility would just be compromised. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So, but, I mean, t describe to me how you know she loves 
doing the art. Oh, she, well, definitely tons of smiles. Um, she gets just really just an extra spurt of energy. Um, she'll start talking, babbling, and um, just, you can just see it in her eye. Her eyes just light right up. You can. I ask her, you know, choices of colors, and do you want to add glitter? <laughs> like why aren't we doing this now yeah. <laughs> and just even when I put like the paintbrush or the crayon in her hand and I'm helping her and she just she's smiling the whole, whole entire time um, I'd say art is probably her if she could choose any activity art would be her number one choice she she's always ready for art I mean we do a lot of art at home I know yeah so yeah she's excited to be able to take classes again eventually and and, and, and you've had an opportunity to exhibit her art mm -hmm. at Mott's Children's Hospital. Yep. And, um, very, very proud. She yeah. was super proud as well. I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you, Brooklyn. That was another thing that we really loved about the classes here is the art show at the end. You know, that was just, for the whole family, just so exciting. Yes. Um, for the kids, they're just so proud of themselves. And those will continue. I mean, that is something that we really find a value because they like to be around and hear people talk about their art and what they're doing and on this six-year-old Brooklyn I'm so glad to see you I'm so glad that you're here and we're working really hard to get you into the new building so you and your friends can come do really fun things with us yes we're so excited. I can't wait for that day yeah it'll be fun